I am not the best programmer. In fact, I have broken production code many times. I have countless failed interviews, see my last video. And once I spent two days trying to fix a bug that took a colleague five minutes. But today I'm leading projects, I'm mentoring junior developers, and I'm making decisions that shape the future of our company. How is that even possible, right? Well, let me tell you the real story. Because becoming a great software engineer isn't just about that one perfect line of code. And when I started as a junior dev, I felt overwhelmed. Everyone around me seemed faster, smarter and better. But my solutions were messy, my code reviews were brutal and actually, to be honest, I thought I made the wrong career choice. But then one day, I realized something important. Coding was just one small part of being a software engineer. And next week, I will publish a video about the topic how I would learn to code if I would start all over again. So subscribe if you don't want to miss it. So I tried to improve my technical skills. But every time I thought I mastered something, a new technology popped up and I was back to square one. And therefore I changed my strategy. Instead of chasing perfection in every language or framework, I focused on understanding problems deeply. So why code worked or failed, not just how. But this wasn't enough. Soon I faced my biggest crisis. I accidentally forced pushed to main code that put down our services right at peak hour. But instead of hiding, I immediately told my team and explained what exactly did wrong and also how we could prevent this in the future from happening again. And therefore my team didn't lose trust in me. They actually gained respect for my transparency and accountability. And then I realized another huge part of software engineering, communication. I could write code, but could I explain my solutions clearly? So initially my first documentation or emails was quite complicated and confusing, filled with jargon and I barely understood myself. But I practiced, asked for feedback and forced myself to simplify ideas into plain language. And therefore my ideas started getting implemented and my solutions began shaping real decisions at work. And just when things seemed stable, another twist came, a failing project. And nobody could agree on anything. Deadlines were missed and documentation grew. And therefore this guy stepped in. And not because I was the best coder, but because I learned how to mediate, communicate clearly and empathize with my colleagues struggle. And to everyone's surprise, the project recovered and not due to the best coders, but through leadership. And today I'm still not the best programmer, which in my opinion becomes more and more irrelevant because of AI. But I've become a great software engineer because I've learned that coding is just a start. So real success consists of so much more. Problem solving, leadership, empathy, communication, teamwork, you name it. So programming is a skill, but engineering is an art form built from failure, practice and continuous improvement. And therefore, if you are doubting yourself because you are struggling with coding interviews, with bugs or tech trends, Remember this, the best engineers aren't the ones who write flawless code. They are the ones who never stop learning, who turn mistakes into lessons and who understood that coding is only one piece of a much bigger puzzle. And if I can go from breaking production to leading teams and the mentoring junior developers, I promise you can too. Drop a comment, let me know how good you are at programming and how relevant is it even in this age. And as always, like the video if you like the video. See you in the next video. Until then, happy coding and peace out.
you think that this life's made for a king? So many 